President and the Prime Minister are meeting right now uh, in the Oval Office. Um, there's a lot on the agenda, but first and foremost, we'll be discussing uh, how deeply and how strongly um, uh, the President feels, we feel, that we've got to get this hostage deal in place so we can get a ceasefire uh, also in place, uh, at least for phase one for that first, uh, those first six weeks. There are gaps that remain, uh, and our team continues to work with our counterparts uh, in the region to see if we can't close those gaps. We believe that they are of a nature where they can be closed and that we can achieve uh, a deal, but it's going to require, as it always does, some leadership, some compromise, uh, and an effort to get there. Uh, the President will be reaffirming for Prime Minister Netanyahu that he believes we need to get there and that we need to get there soon. Today, <coughs> is the 293rd day that these hostages have been held captive by Hamas. And you just have to assume uh, that it is the most horrific of circumstances. Sadly, we know that not all of them are alive. Still hostages, still need to get home to their families. 293 days, there ought not to be a 294th. Uh, and we're gonna keep working on that. You mentioned in your top of the word compromises. Um, does the president believe that, specifically that Prime Minister Netanyahu needs to make compromises uh, to achieve a ceasefire deal, uh, and it's not just Hamas. And also, what are those compromises that Netanyahu would have to make? If so? Both sides have to make compromises, and because we still have gaps that haven't been closed, I think you can surmise from that that there are still compromises that need to be made. Um, the uh, Israelis already have made many compromises to get us to this point. Hamas, through their interlocutors have made compromises to get us to this point, and yet we're still not there. So there's still there's still a need for compromise. And will the president be saying to Prime Minister Netanyahu, you need to make compromises? Well, we're gonna do a readout, and we'll, we'll tell you how the meeting went after it's over, uh, but as I said in, in the opening statement, uh, this will be a, a prime topic of discussion, that it's time now to get these compromises in place. It's time now to get the negotiation in place and get the hostages home. It's time to end the war.